This is actually our Boston Weiler 255. This is what it's sitting on, it's a C pen. It costed around $12,000 to install and it was one of the best ideas we've ever had. And today is actually his first birthday. The C pen's actually a dry dock in a wet pen where the actual, um, the actual pump pumps all the water out so Boston can let you just sit on the mesh. It's easily one of the best decisions we've made because the best thing about it, within five minutes, we can be on the boat, prepped, and straight out the back. We don't have to worry about backing back the trailer because just so you know, <laughs> neither of us know how to do it. Not a clue. <laughs> the best thing about the system is there's a set of lights up here. The orange is when it is actually getting rid of the water. The blue is obviously when you want to go out. So what I do is blue means you want to get onto the ocean. So if you want to press the button, Cave, press the button down, car keys. turns blue. So what is happening now, as you can probably hear, is now the pressure is actually being taken out of the back section of the boat. So water is now being allowed into the back section of the boat, which then folds down, which then allows the water back into the sea pen, which allows it to get out. How long does it take? We're about to tell you. It is currently now 8.15 in the morning. I'll tell you when it goes down. But mate, I've just noticed something we'll have to do when we get back from fishing, mate. I've noticed, mate, on the inside of the angles here, yeah. we have some build-up of some weed underneath. No, that's what you're telling me is Cal you're gonna clean Caleb's going for a swim. <laughs> Probably, yeah, probably. The first thing you can see in the corner there is the back section starts to go down. Then when she starts to go down, it gains speed and she goes down. Where are we going today? Where do you want to go out? Do we want a whiting? Want to go spot whiting or again? Want to go somewhere new? I think we might as well have a look at some whiting, man. I think. Yeah. It looks like it is a beautiful day here. It is, it is a beautiful. Day. You know the problem is you've made me a nerdy, like a full-on nerd now. And right. I've only noticed it because whenever I sit here on like a boat or something, I look up and I see the moon during the day, the first thought I get is, it's the Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault. Uh, I've done my job. I'm successful. All job. right, so just so you know, we are at the four minute mark. The back section has actually dropped under the water. This is when it actually starts to accelerate because the water then actually comes over the top and starts to flood the netting, which drives it down even quicker. So it looks like I'm going to be spot on with five minutes, mate. Spot on five minutes, buddy. See? Um, I'm pretty that... good. So I'm just checking. The one thing we've always had to check to make sure oh. is... Yeah. Mate, extra tip. Yeah, down the bottom here is our bung. And Caleb right now is just making sure the bung isn't actually connected to the, uh, to the netting, just to make sure. Is, is she free, buddy? And now it was time for Caleb to back out the boat for the very first time. Where do you throw this one usually over? Throw that over the corner, just so it doesn't get into your engines. Oh, backs off. Backs off, all right. All right, we are free. Okay, we're just sitting in the... You got it, tap again. You're moving, beautiful. Okay, just make sure you're off the bung. Beautiful. Look at that, straight out of the pen. You may have to adjust it a bit. Perfect. You got it. Alright, out of boy mate. Just so everyone knows, first time backing out a boat, just so you know. Well done mate. I don't yeah. know if I like, I can't look back at the engines, whenever I look at the engines, I get confused from where I'm going. I know mate, believe me, it's the same thing with me mate, let's get this camera off. I couldn't imagine a better way to spend my morning. I have never seen it this clear, mate. Like, ever. Mate, we can see everything. The main reason why we actually got a sea pen, don't tell me we got a fish already. He's got a fish already, sorry, I was gonna tell you. Our secret spot does it again, mate. I will tell him eventually about the sea pen. Dad? Not small. Not small? Not small. Mate, it's a you've got two fish, bud. Do I, that was first cast. You've got two fish. Dad, I dropped it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do it. It dropped in the water twi in like 12 oh, seconds. Oh, the joy of our favourite spot. Mate, that is a good looking fish. Look at that. See you, big guy. Beautiful. See you, buddy. Two for one. First cast. Without that sea pen, and in the time frame we got out here, yes, we wouldn't have hit that two fish in one go. Funny enough, that's the point I'm just about to make. Good segue, buddy. The reason why we got the sea pen is because we could very easily get in and out of the water really easy. Just so you know, we are first time boat owners. We don't really know how to buy drive a trailer. I've got nowhere to store it. And we thought what we wanted was a solution where we could get on the boat, uh, get ready and get out in five minutes. And it's one of the best decisions we've made because obviously today, as Caleb is quite rightly put, we wouldn't have been able to catch that fish because it would have taken us longer to get on the water. I haven't even put my line in yet. He's just cast it a second time and he's caught another fish. Mate, what have you got? Something big. 
that's mate, me. That, what are I you? don't know what that is, but that, mate. That is pretty. That is a beautiful fish, mate. Now, let me hold this quickly. That, mate, is what the most beautiful fish we've had. Mate, we are gonna have to learn what fish are, but anyway, we are throwing them back. We're not keeping him to eat. Hook, 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 chill. He's got um, buck teeth. Oh, has he? All right, see you, buddy. You're the best fish we've caught. Beautiful. Anyway, go for it, buddy. See you, fish. Look okay, at that. can I please fish now? No, I'm Jeez dropping. Jeez Louise. I've lost none of my bait, by the way. It's the yeah. same bait. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fish now. Bim. He's, he's a bit small for snapper, but he's a snapper none the fucking less. He certainly looks like a snapper. He's a good snapper too, mate, but you're right, we aren't keeping him today. But good catch, mate. You've caught four and I've caught none. Just trying to keep him in the water while I... Mate, he's good. Well done, good catch. Best fish of the day, Bill. Well done. Throw it back. Go on back. See you, buddy. Enjoy. Oh, look, he's gone. See ya. It's kind of sense me to get him a hat. He's just cast, he's caught another fish. I haven't even cast yet, people. Jeez, ah. Luke. Another. It's a smaller oh, snapper. No, that's a, yeah, it's a small one. Oh, someone's on mine, I think. Yeah, I think they are. They are, well done. <laughs> oh, yep, something's on it. I can't, I've caught something and I wasn't even paying attention. Oh God, it's big. I've got to get more cameras set up on this boat. Oh, she's the same one, I, the same type. rainbow, and she is big. She is hefty. Holy God. <laughs> Just so you know, I caught the biggest fish not fishing. Yeah, I don't like it, but you're not wrong. Take your knife and First only fish I catch, I actually don't catch, and, and I break the rod. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, and Carlos is off nice and safe. Just a nice little fish. one. Just pretty. Yeah, definitely throw it back. Yeah, no, 100%. I'm not keeping See you, buddy. They fight. They are. They're awesome fish. Carlos is off to cast off the front, because obviously he hasn't caught enough fish. Anyway. So no, obviously. I've never cast it off the front. I know you haven't. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them about the sea pen installation. Okay, so how long did it take? Just so you know, we actually live here in Perth, uh, Western Australia. We ordered the uh, sea pen from uh, Queensland, a company in Queensland, I think it's called Doc Pro. And it took around about six weeks to make it, get it across here, and then installation. It was really easy to do and really easy to use. And the, one of the best things I love about parking the boat, which I'll show you when we do, well, when Caleb finishes hey, fishing, because obviously I'm hey, not Dad. going to now. Oh. And he's already caught another fish. Anyway, driving into the sea pen is like driving into a glove. It makes parking so much easier. But let's see what else he's caught, for God's sakes. Another fish? Try to oh, you stingray. Try to tell if it's a rock or not. Oh, no, mate. I've broken one, and you've snagged the bottom. I see the line. Should I go swim for it? No. But it's right there? No, because we're in 13 metres water. You're not going to get it anyway. I can try. Okay, I'll just let you know that I've pulled my rod up, everything's hooked up, and all safe. Dad, please repeat what you just did. <laughs> all right, just to be clear, we went out on our worst day where everything went wrong. We are screwed. We'll leave the video in the description so you can see what I mean by everything went wrong. But I actually rigged up my very first rod and I was reeling this in to put it away and the rig broke. The only part that stayed on was the part that we had the fishy dude <laughs> Put on. The fishing gods are telling me go home. And by go home, he really means let's go back to the pen and force his son in the water to go clean it. Yeah! Caleb's uh, second park. Here we go. See what it's like with the uh, sea pen. All right. I can see our um, fake grass. I can see the, uh, I can see our backyard. Yep. Now, am I in your way? If, where do you want me? A little bit. I just need to be able to see on that side. Touch more, touch more. That's it, you got it, buddy. You got, you got it perfect. Now just touch on. Mate, I don't need to do jack. It's okay. I got you just in case, mate. All good. So you want to bring your ass a little bit. That's it. That's it, you got it. Just nice and easy, buddy. Touch on. Okay. Just no more. Yeah, I'm not touching. No more, just let you glide. A little bit of speed off. Just touch backwards and stop. Pat backwards, backwards. Stop. Yeah, neutral. Guess what? You're done. Let me tie you on. As you can see, we've just glided on. And the logic is, as you can see, we just park like a glove. We line up the back of the boat with the back of the hinge for us to be able to raise it up and we're done. The only thing you have to remember, before you raise this, raise your engines. Yes, I have made that mistake before. And then instantly put it back down, two seconds later, shooting us. Absolutely. Anyway, guess what? Good park, mate. 
let me uh, raise these engines for I'll you. I'll be honest with you, I haven't been that stressed in a while. <laughs> Mate, it's not easy, is it? So as you can tell from that, not only was Caleb obviously doing a great job parking, but you can see that we, we like the idea of parking it into a glove. Could you see that slowly but surely it slowed us down. Caleb just had to take off some of the speed and we weren't worried about smashing into the side of it, which is one less thing to worry about. Because that's stressful, isn't it? I'm still like letting my adrenaline peak down because I... <laughs> He's still getting used to it. But well done, mate. You actually made it. But I've you... done it twice. Even though you do it a fair few times, you've always got that voice in the back of your head going, what if? Okay, you want, where's the keys here, mate? Can you maybe press the up button? So what you do is you press the up button. I'll show you what happens at the front. It's like a pair of car keys, literally. All right. And as you can see, the opposite light comes on. So now you know it's filling up with air. It's going to blow the, the back up. When it blows the back up, it pumps all the water out of the bottom. You may notice we've got it set up perfectly at the front, so it's right near the front. But as you can see, look at that. Less than a minute, it's already coming up, mate. Boom. So it's now been pumped with air. As soon as that comes above the surface with it at will, that side section there will turn on, and that is the, actually the outflow, because the pump like section bill. here pumps all the water out from here and straight out, so it should click in any second. There we go. It's like a bilge pump. That's right, yeah, exactly like a bilge pump, mate, exactly. It does it up, but we're gonna get underneath and clean it, though. Because, as I said, we've had this for I a year. I hate that you're using the word we. We are. This isn't a we situation. I'm gonna help you, I wanna get my bathers. Hang on. And this is what I wanna avoid. This is on one of our passion but This is actually probably the same age as us. You can see the regrowth. Does it affect how it works? Probably not. Maybe I'm just being a little bit anal, but I wanna keep it clean, just like the boat. The growth under Boston wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The growth was there, but it was a funny type of seaweed. When you ran your hand over it, it was actually quite rough. It wasn't too bad underneath, and we decided to focus on the sides of the sea pen. Using the broom, it came off really easily, but as you could probably tell, it made being able to see really difficult. My boy tried his hardest to clean up most of it as we can, so I decided to have a look at the back to make sure it wasn't getting into the joints and to see what type of growth was more focused on the back section which moved. I focused on the joints to make sure they weren't being clogged up and that was really easy to do with a hand uh, scrubber to make sure they didn't get into the mesh. <sighs> Alright, that, that was disgusting, so what we're going to do is we're going to test out our brand new, um, what the hell do you call these things? to try and make jumping in the water worth it because that job sucked, which we'll get yeah, to in a second. No, that was rank. Terrible. All right, buddy. And remember, have you got on turbo? Yeah, I just turned it off. Beautiful, it go for it. It goes about, I think it's four meters, sorry, two meters a second, which is pretty good. It's on turbo mode. So it's perfect for, uh, as you can probably can't see now through all the muck and gunk, but, so that was an experience. I wouldn't recommend swimming underneath the sea pen, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, uh, actually. It was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, well, good point. When we started scrubbing, went everywhere and all the bloody blowies came out. But regardless, the sea pen is an awesome thing to do. It's got very low maintenance. There's some things you have to do, which we'll talk to the uh, supplier later on after this video, but easy use and we would highly recommend it. Yeah, on the bright side, it's just, that was my second time in my life ever parking a boat and it was like a glove. It was that simple. You did well, mate. 